Checkpoint is presented by GM Pharma, the first international multinational pharmaceutical company in Georgia. GM Pharma, to serve those who need it most. Economics. And before we say goodbye, we have one more interview to offer, which will give you the wrap-up of the pension reform in Georgia and also give you a peek into its future developments. Yes, David, thank you for this introduction. Georgi and I talked to the CEO of pension agency, Georgi Danelia, before um, we left for the brief vacation on Christmas holidays. If you look at top red news on BM.G. English, um, you will see that interest in this reform is quite large. So here's an annual report basically of the pension agency to our viewers and followers where they can decide, where you can decide what needs to be watched for in the coming future as well. It's time to make some conclusions. Yes, a report. Report? <laughs> okay. Report for so the checkpoints. <laughs> Taking into consideration patient agency, it should be permanent and will be permanent yes. for sure. Georgi, glad to have you here in our office again. Thank you for inviting me. Um, Thank you for taking our questions. Um, so what did the uh, pandemic, yet another pandemic year, um, look like for the... Uh, Crossing fingers for the <laughs> yeah. um, uh, So uh, I think it would be a surprise that uh, for us as well, uh, as for the whole economy and the whole country and the region, uh, the pandemic was one of the major challenges within 2021. Um, but uh, besides that fact, I think we managed that quite effectively, uh, especially taking into consideration the investment results that we have. Uh, and we generated approximately 11.5% uh, return on our investment. Uh, I think it's a um, quite good result. Um, especially if you look uh, from the initiation of the investment office and from the starting point of investment activities, we have generated approximately 6% of real return, which, is, which means that we have 6% uh, above the inflation for that period. Oh, okay. um, really. So that's uh, quite a result, I believe. Um, so in that regard, uh, we still um, uh, we think and we hope that uh, for the next year, uh, the pandemic uh, effect will be uh, minimized, let's say, uh, not, for, not only for the PA, but for the country itself. Um, and we'll continue that um, uh, trend for upcoming years, uh, for sure. Structural-wise, <coughs> I want to highlight two directions. While we'll more, more or less touch already inflation, uh, it's uh, future and possible amendments, let me say so, because you were in a process with uh, uh, our MPs, uh, within the parliamentary committees, etc. Uh, in regards of some specific amendments uh, and at the same time my next question goes to the confidence which is uh, my like major key issue in regards of PA so let's begin with the amendments okay uh, so uh, as for the amendments um, um, I think um, we discussed it in the beginning of uh, the year that um, we were trying to have some kind of technical amendments in the law which were which stem from our practice already, how things should be done, etc., etc. Um, and then our investment board expressed willingness to add some, let's say, um, amendments that might be connected to investment mandate. Uh, so and to I'm, expand it, right? Uh, yeah, so basically we mean that to expand and some kind of give more flexibility, flexibility to investment yeah. office to, um, uh, let's say, uh, have more diversified portfolio because, um, as we see, investment investment area of uh, our in, uh, potential or possible investments is quite limited. Mm -hmm. uh, and so uh, given the constraints, uh, the risk constraints mm -hmm. and limits that we have in the law. So that's why uh, I think um, uh, that was the main reason why uh, investment board uh, um, and I share uh, their, uh, let's say, uh, ideas and share their thoughts that uh, that might be a good um, uh, and effective uh, amendment for, for activities, investment activities as a whole. Um, uh, so that's why I think um, if uh, we can uh, let's all make it happen, um, that will only benefit the beneficiaries uh, because uh, it will somehow uh, boost their rate of return. Do you agree uh, with me that confidence, so what I've already touched, is something what should be permanently uh, taken care, overviewed, monitored uh, from PA team as well, 
not as well, first of all, from PA team itself. Uh, definitely. And uh, as for the confidence, I think the best uh, uh, answer to that problem is our results. Mm -hmm. And the fact that we already have beneficiaries who are uh, who already uh, are Benefit benefiting their yeah. own savings. We already paid out, as we, as we call it, uh, their savings to them. Uh, it, and the amount of total payouts is already more than 2 million Georgian Lari. Uh, and besides that, um, as time passes, um, they see um, what we do, how we do, how we treat uh, their savings, uh, how we invest their savings. And I think that's the best answer to their concern. To the, uh, they can feel more safe and confident uh, as right. they follow our results. Um, of course, we try to spread the information as much as possible. We, we want to uh, we want our beneficiaries to understand what kind of scheme it is and how they can benefit from it. Well, no. And um, that, of course, uh, as more information uh, and more aware they are about the scheme and about their savings, I think the more safe they feel. Of course, and more they feel that this is, this is their money that is being managed by, by professionals. Um, expansion um, of, the, um, of the mandate and also the confidence, and I would like to link uh, these two together. Um, do you think uh, um, a special depository um, has changed the picture and is the um, need for uh, expanding uh, this mandate based on the assessment of what special depository has already achieved um, in terms of investments? So my answer is definitely yes, uh, because uh, special depository was one of the requirements of the law mm -hmm. and before that we were unable to diversify our portfolio, simple as that. Um, after that, and after signing the concept with the special depositor, which took quite a, uh, work and time because it was a very complex um, uh, contract, um, we are able, our investment office is uh, uh, able to diversify the portfolio, which means that um, they can more effectively manage risk and more effectively target the return they, they want to target for our beneficiaries. Uh, so um, uh, the special depository, and there might be some confusion within the beneficiaries of why it's called a depository, do you put all our money in one bank or whatsoever, so it's more like a safe. It's a safe, it's a uh, one line of defense as we call them. Uh, they control uh, how we make decisions, let's say, to put it simply, how our investment office makes decisions. They check compliance with the law, they check compliance with the investment mandate, and they, uh, if there is some, any concern or whatsoever, they raise this concern within the National Bank of Georgia because the National Bank is um, the regulator of the special depository. So it's kind of independent. Um, uh, additional say, safe, yeah. Yeah, additional safety for, for, for our investment decision. Mm -hmm. So um, this is very, very important milestone for 2021 that we achieved uh, this year. Is this diversification a, a challenge uh, considering again the mandate that you have currently? Um, well, if you look at the investment, uh, p possible investment alternatives within the Georgian economy, um, uh, you'll see that it's quite limited. Mm -hmm. uh, even though we have this diversification uh, um, possibility, uh, you still cannot uh, invest uh, all the money that we have now because we have quite strict requirements in the law. There is written that, for instance, we can um, invest in the company that has sovereign rating or one notch below. Uh, which is very limited in the in Georgian economy. So, for instance, one of the amendments that might be uh, discussed um, within the relative bodies is that uh, this rating requirement may be a bit loose because, for instance, if we look at the companies that have uh, sovereign rating minus two notches, that a bit increases the potential investments that we have. Um, so all these uh, little details all together make the big picture. So in that regard, I think, uh, if we go in that way and if we uh, get uh, that amendments and that uh, even uh, this diversification would be more effective. Just in time to follow PA team with BMG TV. <laughs> yeah, that's so true. That's so true. <laughs> um, so what's on the agenda in 2022 already and what will be your main message that you want to put out um, to, the, to the stakeholders of PA? Um, well, I would uh, divide um, the, I'll 
milestones in two parts. The first one is the investment activity and the second one is the operational activity. Uh, for investment activity, for sure, it would be uh, definitely will have more diversified portfolio. Uh, definitely will have more uh, interesting investment opportunities arising um, domestically and internationally as well, because as you know, we have a limit of 20% of our portfolio can go into uh, MSCI index, for instance, or into global uh, uh, instruments. So that's one of the things, because we'll really start the diversification process, and in 2023, when we are able to uh, invest not only in the low risk portfolio, but in medium and high risk portfolio, that will be a very good preparatory time for us. And we'll have some time to prepare for that major milestone that we have to face in 2023. Uh, as for the operational side, we, uh, we uh, that will definitely uh, make our services available digitally, electronically, because um, we have to, uh, I mean, our beneficiaries, beneficiaries have to have uh, PA is not covering regions with uh, We're not covering physically. The, physically, we have just one office in Tbilisi, so uh, everyone has to have option to use our services right. through their personal electronic uh, uh, pages uh, that are available, by the way, uh, within the pension electronic system. So uh, that's very important milestones. Um, and uh, even uh, pension payments and all the paperwork that is connected to the pension payment should be done electronically. Everything should be done electronically. So that's one of the very important milestones that we have because the agency, I mean, the beneficiaries, uh, the number of beneficiaries increasing, uh, payouts also increasing. So we cannot, uh, uh, we cannot have everyone coming to our office, right? So we have to have some kind of uh, availability through different channels. So that's one of the things that we're trying to achieve. Wonderful. Wish you success then, and we will we'll follow much. up with BMGT. Definitely. We'll <laughs> Thank you very Thank much. You so much. Good Happy luck New Year, year and yes, wish you success. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. The Checkpoint is presented by GM Pharma, the first international multinational pharmaceutical company in Georgia. GM Pharma, to serve those who need it most.